Hola, muy buenas. Hoy quiero eh, empezar el, el episodio 3 de The Council. Vamos a ver. Capítulo 8 de Conclave. Vale, me voy a saltar. A ver si se puede saltar algo. No, no me lo puedo saltar. En tu opinión, ¿por qué would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything, even to. But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma, Emily Hillsborough, the woman with two faces. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. Vale, los tres libros de antes. Sin problema. Y ahora hablar con George Washington, que tampoco me lo puedo saltar. is about to start any minute. This is not the time to be... Damn it. What's going on? Uh, I, I don't know exactly, Mr. President. I was looking for my mother and I, I came upon this body. My God. You don't think Sarah did it, do you? No. No, I, I don't think so. Why would she have attacked a servant? If no one saw you, I'd advise you not to get involved, Louis, so that no one will accuse you of the murder. Ah, oh, darn, the conference is starting. Time is of the essence. Sort this out and join us as quickly as you can in the conference room. Everyone will be expecting you. Mr. President, this is not really the right time, and I, I didn't come for that. Your mother's seat cannot remain vacant. You must replace her while she's still missing. Your mother and I were to support Mortimer on this project. I don't know what the subject is, but the future of our countries depends on it. Given the importance of all this to Mortimer, he won't let the conference begin without you. So if you don't want more servants coming looking for you, I'd advise you to join us quickly and to put a brave face on it. The best favor you can do for yourself, Louis, and for Sarah, is to come and support Mortimer's project at the conference. Vale, voy a seguir Look, igual. No I don't mind following you, but I should warn you. I have no idea what this is all about, so I can't make any promises as to what I might do. I shall make my decision after the debate, when the time comes. Ah, very well. As you wish. You will see once you hear everything. But given the situation, I think you will have everything to gain by joining Mortimer's side. I'm going. Don't be long. Tell them that I'm on my way. Vale, voy a repetir lo mismo, a ver si... Si no se atasca o... No sé. Oh, he's dead. What the hell's been going on here? Buscar... Aquí encuentra la llave. Mother, no voy a mirar bajo la this máscara. Y me voy a llevar el libro. Y esto que es sobras de comida. Uh, no exactamente fresh. Someone's made a fire here. And the ashes are still warm. If you're the one who did it, mother, it couldn't have been easy with only one hand. I must have just missed her. If only I hadn't wasted so much time getting out of Lord Mortimer's study. Vale, aquí nada. Y ahora, aquí había una moneda. Vale, dime que ahora sí me puedo ir. 
ahora sí, ve, estaba mal. La partida anterior estaba mal. Bueno, menos mal que, que se arregló. A ver, para salir de aquí creo que... A ver, ¿cómo era? Aquí... No, aquí no. Se podía salir por detrás, pero ¿por dónde? Por aquí era... Sí, por aquí. Ay. ¿Cómo que no? Si se podía ir por ahí. Sí, sí, por aquí. Ahora sí. Ya sabía yo que por aquí detrás se podía salir. Y podría entrar por esta puerta a lo mejor, a ver. Sí, bien. Vale, antes de ir a la conferencia, no sé si puedo darme una vuelta por ahí. Investigar algo. En las habitaciones arriba, no sé. Vale, puede que la conferencia sea... Sí, la conferencia es ahí. Vale, voy a intentar no ir ahí. A ver si puedo... ...investigar algo arriba. Ah, no me va a dejar. No me va a dejar. A ver... Reúnele con Lord Mortimer. Bueno, no sé si antes... Debería hablar con... Bueno, otro, a ver, una moneda. Sí. Debería hablar con, con las otras... Personas, a ver, otro fragmento de ámbar. ¿Cuántos tengo ya? nada. Jalea real. No sé si debería... Sí, sí, voy a tomarme una. Ah, esta es la del agua. Solo tengo una de agua, me parece. A ver. Ah, no, tengo las dos. Esta es la que tenía las dos llaves. Más jalea que no puedo llevarme. Solo tenía jalea real esto, ¿no? Vale. Ah, ahí está, un fragmento de ámbar, está bien eso. Bueno, al menos ha servido, lo del ámbar ha servido de algo. Vale, antes voy a hablar con, con alguno de estos, a ver. 
It seems Lord Mortimer's been waiting for you to arrive before beginning. What a pity your mother isn't here for the conference. I hope I'll be able to see her before I leave. I still have a very important letter to give to her. Feeling all right, Louis? You look like you're miles away. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Lord Mortimer wants to talk to you, Louis. Don't make him wait. Vale, pues nada. No, no me dicen nada. Simplemente que vaya a hablar con Lord Mortimer. I don't know if you ever found what you were looking for in the garden, but Mortimer is waiting for you. I suggest you get a move on. You say it as if you were afraid of him. Ah, mira, si se le puede hacer algo. A ver. Este... ¿Dónde está este? Vulnerabilidad a la psicología y a la Inquisición inmunidad. Y esto es psicología, así que sí, es vulnerable. Vamos a darle a este. Yo siento que hay cosas que quieres decir, pero algo te está volviendo atrás. ¿Qué está pasando entre los dos? Nada. Absolutamente nada. Creí en él. Creí en él a la mejor de mis habilidades. Creí en sus ideas, sus ideas, defendí sus decisiones. Y luego, sin siquiera realizar, me he perdido. The siren's song, Monsieur de Richet. You wake up one morning, not knowing where you are, and you think about everything you've done for a man who wasn't even worth it. For a man who has no respect for you, who uses you, and who drops you as soon as he no longer needs you. For me, it's too late now. But you, you still have a choice. Don't respond to his call, sir. Hmm. Nada, por el Carmen. Este lo vamos a dejar para el final. Eso ya lo he, he hablado con ellos. A ver estos dos. Si me dicen algo. Good evening, gentlemen. Are we ready? The much awaited conference is about to begin. That is what we have all been waiting for. I believe that Lord Mortimer wishes to speak to you before it begins. You should go and see him. Vale, nada. Pues venga, hablar con Lord Mortimer. Ah, Louis, I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. We are about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly, but what do you expect of me exactly? My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry. You are not alone, Louis. Very well. Vale, ¿en qué consiste la conferencia? Can you give me a brief explanation of the aim of it all? Of course, Louis, I was coming to that. The aim of these meetings is to bring together the most influential people in order to think together about the future. But the future of who? Of the world, Louis. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all, and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. Vale, ¿cómo funciona la conferencia? In concrete terms, how do you organize your discussions? A conference is always organized the same way. There are two masters of ceremony who determine an important subject. You and Sir Gregory, I presume. Exactly. We shall be the masters of ceremony. It was our obligation to each bring to the table several guests in order to debate a subject. Once the debate is closed, a decision will be made by a vote of all the participants. By a unanimous vote. If the project is not agreed on by all, then it will be rejected. And neither of the two masters of ceremony have the right to vote. It's up to the guests alone to decide, Louis. In other words, us. 
Gregory and myself are merely the go-betweens. Finally, if the project is validated, each guest goes home and starts working to make it happen. It can take years. Vale, más preguntas, a ver si hay algo. Ah, eso no. Hace mucho que existe la conferencia. Oh, this tradition has more or less always existed, Louis. It has continued from generation to generation. Se reúnen a menudo. This kind of society dinner. In general, once a year, but in actual fact, it tends to be events that dictate our gatherings. Vale, ¿qué decisiones importantes han logrado orquestar? Can you give me an example of an event that was decided here before being implemented in the outside world? Well, take the French Revolution. It was decided right here two years before its implementation in France. Concerning the case of the French Revolution, I wasn't invited. But as far as the American Revolution is concerned, Louis, I can testify that we planned it five years before implementing it, for example. Alain. Louis, let me keep you a moment. I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin, because I'm going to need your assistance. You see, the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. It's currently Spanish territory, and I'm going to make the proposition to the assembly for it to become French. Vale, ¿qué tiene que ver eso conmigo? But how does that concern me? Well, you see, I prepared this project with your mother. We began thinking about a crazy idea. Unfortunately, Sarah went missing before getting the bigger picture. I don't intend to stop at Louisiana. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. And that's where you come in. France and the United States, hand in hand, two democracies illuminating the world. Eh, a ver, a ver, a ver, tengo algo... No, aquí no, en el diario. Lord Mortimer, inmunidad a las ciencias es lo único que tengo. Así que Inquisición no sé si va a funcionar. But why spread it over two phases? Why not announce the overall project immediately? Unfortunately, if Spain were to hear that the intention of all this is to allow the United States to grow, they would never sign. Manuel Godoy is perfectly aware of President Washington's appetite. If the United States took Louisiana, but I would know full well that he will have lost the entire North American continent. Things must take place in several stages. Otherwise, the change will be too brutal, and he will have no choice but to reject the project. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. My friends, I propose we get started. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. As per our custom, here we are all together to discuss the face of tomorrow's world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet, who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. 
Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur. I hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The Order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about the King of Divine Blood, for goodness sake. It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. Dice, si la Orden Dorada pretende enorgullecerse de ser una organización de influencia, debería manten haberlo mantenido con vida. No sé qué hacer. A sentir sin decir nada voy a hacer. No tengo ni idea. Perhaps we may begin. Lord Mortimer. Certainly. I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other, more now than ever before. A dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by example and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer. But I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France, namely all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But, well, it is not for sale. Lord Mortimer. I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. Have I made myself clear? What did I tell you, William? You speak of union, and yet here you are about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall see. Well, since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. What? I, I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I am not mistaken, in the Northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not a question. Vale, ¿a quién llamas salvajes? These savages, as you call them, were there before you. They are on their homeland. As much as the black people of Africa, Monsieur de Richet, that does not stop your dear France from massacring them and sending them like cattle to Mr. Washington's cotton plantations to provide him with cheap labor. So Buen you punto. keep your sí, morals señor. to yourself, if you please. Senor, I would not like to be associated with that. The subject of black slaves in the United States of America is a complex subject, which we shall resolve at a future date. Eh... Uf. A ver, esto es... Protocolo, ah, pues, protocolo. Desafiarlo. No, es que no sé, es que insultarlo, no sé yo. Francia pronto abandona. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué tipo de protocolo es este? De insultarlo. A ver, ¿dónde está Godoy? No, no, no sabemos ninguna vulnerabilidad de, de este. Va, ah, mira, se lo voy a decir. Vamos a ver lo que pasa. It obviously doesn't stop you from sleeping at night. Not in the least. Do not imagine I have anything against the American. Ay, 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 a ver. Inmunidad al protocolo, vale. The blacks. That is not the question. But business is business. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. 
There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. Man didn't might as well be the likes of you who rule. Is that right? But of course. Come now, my friends. Let us not digress. Anyway, and these primitive people have no souls, Louis. We bring the good word to them in order to save them. You'll see. Colonization brings with it many benefits, too. Uh, excuse me, if you don't mind, Your Eminence, uh, I shall continue. Duke Manuel, I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protege. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? Persuasión. Uf, gastar, gastar cuatro, cuatro puntos. Son demasiados puntos. Política bloqueada, va, no puedo hacer nada. No voy a no decir nada. I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. I understand. But with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. Not to put too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? Nada, no puedo hacer nada. Erudición bloqueada y política bloqueada. Pues nada, in no any decir case, nada. my lord. I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will sicher ein, Emily. Nie Preußen wird diese Vereinbarung akzeptieren. I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volner looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are grave times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume and let Sir Gregory finish. Home, Godoy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. How dare Gentlemen, you! Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project Follow me. Are you coming with us, Monsieur de Richer? Come, Jerry. I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? A mí el Mortimer este no me gusta. At the risk of okay. displeasing you, my lord, I'd rather follow Sir Gregory. I don't think this is a place for the order. Louis? No. Let him go, Mr. President. Everyone is free to choose. can he be so blind? If he keeps this up, he'll lead our countries to their destruction. Don't worry, we shall counter him, Sir Gregory. We have to act immediately. 
Calm down, Gregory. We only have to vote against his project, and that's it. They haven't got a chance. Just one vote will suffice. True. There is no chance of a unanimous vote. And he knows it. He must be preparing something else. What is he plotting? Eh, sí, se lo voy a decir a I ver know qué about pasa. his plan. <laughs> what did you just say, Louis? His aim is for the United States to take the whole of the North American continent. But that is impossible! A democratic superpower. I don't understand. That has nothing to do with the coming vote. You will ask for France to take over Louisiana, and then hand it over to the United States, and so double the size of their territory. Once that's done, he will just need to push a bit more, and you will lose North America, Duke Manuel. God's blood! Has he gone mad? No, Johan. He has always been mad. <sighs> Louis, I would like to thank you for what you've just revealed. If not for you, I don't know if we'd have been capable of deciphering his plans quickly enough to be able to counter him. What are we going to do now that we know about it? Destroy him. No! We'll beat him at his own game, my friends. His plan begins with Louisiana, which is still yours, Duke Manuel. He will begin with you. Expect to receive an envoy, French most probably. He will try to convince you by every possible means. Whatever he says, whatever he promises, you have just one response. It's war. If war is what you want, war is what you'll get. And on your own territory, in your homes. Enough games. Spain will join the coalition against France and declare war. You too, Duchess Hillsborough. You will speak to the Queen so that Great Britain commits to going to war with France. What do you expect from the Papal States, Sir Gregory? What do you think? That they hold a mass? They will go to war, of course. What is it that you didn't understand in what I just told you? We all declare war on France. Militarily, Politically and financially. Vale, y yo? And me, Sir Gregory? How can I help? Louis, you have won my trust. The order will have to act in France, but even before that, I'm going to need you. Right here and right now. Leave me now. I have to prepare for tomorrow. Let's meet early tomorrow morning for the next phase of the conference, which promises to be most exciting. Uh, Louis? I'd like to see you a moment, please. Thank you for signing with me today. I won't forget it. I'm going to need you. Help me counter Mortimer on his own ground. Right here. I'm sure he'll try and win some of you over. He needs our votes. Now, you leave that to me. In the meantime, I must ask you to go and see President Washington and persuade him to trust me and join us. Uy, eso va a estar difícil. Eh, soy la persona adecuada. Really think that I'll be able to convince him? I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I have total faith in you. He likes you, and thus he won't see you coming. You must be careful, though. If he senses that you are trying to manipulate him, he'll dig in his heels. Louis, use every means at your disposal. If Washington drops Mortimer, his defeat will be complete. You should go right away. There's no time to lose. William already has a head start on us. Very well. I'll go right away. Uf, lo de Washington va a estar complicado. Porque lo único que quiere es tener la mayor cantidad de territorio posible. Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. La enciclopedia, a ver, a ver. La completé, los tres... Ay, esto está muy bien, te da un punto de ciencia, uno de lingüística y uno de, de, durición, de erudición. Y este, lógica. Vale, pues el siguiente va a ser ese. Vale, lo tengo. Tengo la llave. No space left. I'll retrieve it later. Elixir dorado, hay cuatro elixir dorado. Podría usar uno. Voy a usar uno. 
Vale. Y me llevaré otro. Y aquí no me dejará entrar, ¿no? Ah, sí, sí que puedo entrar. Todavía están dentro. Ah, no, esto es... Ah, esto es el otro lado, vale. Vale, puedo subir. A ver si me deja entrar en las habitaciones. No, en esta no. Ahí está, sí, esta de quién es. Ay, la de Manuel Godoy, la del español. A ver. Llave con símbolo de aire, a ver. Tenía... Vale, ya tengo las dos llaves de, de aire. Manuel Godoy, a painting of himself in his room. Now that's not going to help him develop a sense of modesty. Don Quixote. El Don Quixote. El Quixote. It's like shooting without taking aim. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that one. A ver, ¿qué más? Mary Louise of Parma. <laughs> How ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my Lord Duke. A ver, esto cuesta uno y esto cuesta cuatro. Pues este entonces, ¿no? Observación nivel 2. Hey, it looks like someone slipped something in the back here. It's a letter. Let's see what it says. It reeks of perfume and it's written in Spanish. Godoy, you really are a little devil. Traducir puedo, sí. Ah, pero me cuesta cuatro puntos. Cuatro puntos es un montón. Ay. Venga. So, let's see what it says. Mi delicada pepita. <laughs> Me siento muy, muy culpable por estar tan lejos de ti de nuevo, aunque sea por el bien de mi país. Me siento fatal por haber tenido que marcharme tras una estúpida discusión, ya que eres la única mujer a la que amo, Josefa, para siempre. Ya te he dicho antes, todo lo que tengo, todo lo que puedo ofrecerte se lo debo al afecto de la reina. Sigamos unidos, por favor, incluso en el sacrificio, por nosotros y por nuestros futuros hijos. Deja de ponerte celosa. Tú eres la única que ocupa mis pensamientos. Todo lo demás es un juego. Te lo juro. It seems that the queen isn't the only one enjoying the Lord Duke's favors. Hmm. Mm. If the queen found out, it would cost him dearly. I'll keep it with me. You never know. Vale. Y un libro. Señor Duque. Aquí tiene la información que ha obtenido nuestro servicio de inteligencia. Puedo confirmar sin lugar a dudas que el señor ahí, ahí está trabajando en un acuerdo con Gran Bretaña. El objetivo parece ser el de debilitar la economía francesa y en secreto también la española, mediante la confiscación de mercancía en alta mar. Nuestros fondos públicos ya se, sienten, se resienten debido al embargo de los productos alimenticios franceses, por lo que un tratado como este acabaría con nuestras colonias. No me cabe la menor duda de que encontrará pronto una solución diplomática. Quedo a la espera de sus instrucciones. ¿Qué más tengo por aquí? Prometheus, punished for stealing fire from the gods and giving it to man. A 
Chinese coin, recognizable by the hole in the middle. If I remember rightly, that's called a cash. Abrojos, ya tengo todo. Otro libro más. Maria Luisa of Parma. Although not Godoy's true love, the queen is his benefactress, according to some people. Amber. Otro Amber. Ya tengo dos, me parece, ¿no? A ver. Sí, dos. Y no creo que haya nada más en la habitación esta, a ver. Fuera se puede salir. Ah, aquí no hay nada. Y habrá otra otra puerta aquí, sí, aquí sí se puede. ¿Quién es esta? A ver... Ah, esta es mi habitación. Y esta es... Toda esta es mi habitación. Pues a Godoy le ha dado... Ah, no, mira, la habitación de Godoy también es grande. Más grande que la mía. Mm. ¿Y esto? No hay nada. Vale, a ver si puedo entrar en otra habitación. De... a ver... A ver, hemos entrado en la de Godoy, esta es la nuestra, ¿qué más tenemos aquí? Vestíbulo del segundo piso. No, este no es el vestíbulo, a ver, esto es... Aquí no se puede entrar. La habitación de Adams, a ver. Esta nada. Aquí se puede entrar. ¿De quién es? Ah, de George Washington. Venga. Venga. My dear George, I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. I have a project to show you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. I understand your reluctance of playing with fire. I know your new country is very young, but rest assured that I would do nothing to jeopardize what we have built together. I look forward to seeing you soon. Your friend, William. Hay algunas cartas que las leí y otras que no. No sé por qué. A ver, ¿y esto aquí? Hola, registrando el equipaje de, del presidente. Porque sí. Eh, forzar. Voy a forzarla, a ver. Porque esto... Esto no puedo hacerlo. Forzar, venga, vamos a ver si se puede. Shit, I broken it. Uf, se va a enterar. Se va a enterar de que alguien ha abierto su equipaje. The president's personal reserve of laudanum. 
and judging by the quantity, you can't go without it. Ah, there's also a letter. Estimado señor presidente, le envío mi respuesta con la mayor brevedad posible. Hablamos de este asunto antes de su partida, pero veo que la situación no ha mejorado. Le pido que siga mi consejo y deje de consumir laudano de inmediato. Es que está enganchado el presidente, ¿eh? Estoy buscando un sustituto, pero me temo que no está dispuesto a esperar. El consumo excesivo podría afectar negativamente a la posibilidad de asegurar su próximo mandato. Su adicción está perjudicando el ejercicio de sus funciones, amigo mío. Me temo que no tengo más remedio que suspender su dosis de área, lo lamento. Vale. Uy, ahí hay un libro. A ver. The map of Vermont. A ver, por esta, esta parte de aquí. ¿Eso que es una llave? Sí, pero no la puede coger. ¿Por qué? Si sí, está claramente ahí. Mira, un retrato de George Washington ahí. Ay, no se puede salir. Y por aquí, tampoco. Pues nada, yo creo que nada más. O pues sí, aquí, ay. Desbloquear. Carmelite mm. water. You say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Sin aliento. Pues voy a salir. Ahora me pillan, ya verá. Me pilló. <laughs> What are you doing in my room? Ay, halagarlo. Protocolo, a ver, a ver. Eh, el presidente, ¿dónde está? No, no sabemos qué debilidad tiene. Pues voy a probar el protocolo. I, I wanted to have a word with you, but just between ourselves. Here, the walls have ears. You're right. Caution is the mother of safety. Well, since you're here, can I get you something to drink? No, no thank you, Mr. President. As you wish. Well, Louis, it's getting late, and this is not my first conference, so let's get straight to the point. You are here to motivate me to change sides. I have decided not to follow Mortimer. I noticed. Every man must make his own choice, what can we say? That's the political game. And you did not commit to supporting Mortimer, so there's nothing for you to feel bad about. So, what can I do for you? Hmm, a ver. No puedo hacer esto. Mentir. Mentir. Voy a gastar otro más de esto. A ver, mentir. Mr. President, Lord Mortimer treats you purely and simply like the least of his pawns. He gives you no explanation and then commits you to a project from which you have nothing to gain. But you know that more than I do. Is that what siding with Mortimer is all about? I must confess that I don't entirely understand William lately. Anyway, you haven't really said what you wanted to say. Tell me, Louis, what have you come here to sell me? You should join home. And why would I do that? Chantajearlo con el laudano. Sí, sí, lo voy a hacer. A ver lo que pasa. I regret to have to resort to such extreme measures, but if you really care about your career, Mr. President, I must ask you to follow me. I beg your pardon, Louis. Do I detect a threat in your voice, my boy? 
You're addicted to laudanum. We both know that this is a powerful opiate that you take on a daily basis to excess. If you don't want it to be disclosed publicly, I entreat you to change sides, Mr. President. Louis, I was wrong about you. You learn even quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, the fact that you are here trying to blackmail me ah, only ça. makes me cringe even more. You are now walking a dangerous path, young man. I would never give in to this sort of ah, tactic. Do you have any persuasive arguments? Se lo debe a mi madre. Me debe una, me debe una por qué. Estoy gastando muchos puntos de esto. This type of meeting might be familiar to you, but for me, I must admit, Mr. President, it's all a bit over my head. It's only natural, Louis. But you are managing rather well for a first timer. You've chosen the wrong allies, that's all. I hope my mother doesn't hold it against me if I made a mistake. Anyway, if Lord Mortimer does succeed, it would be no mean feat. Did he tell you what he would gain from it? What do you mean? Well, Mortimer's plan has been meticulously prepared for many years, I imagine. Of that you can be sure. It's only natural, and his plan leaves nothing to chance. No, that's what... He never commits his own fortune. Let alone his reputation, since you're the one who takes center stage here. In fact... Whether he wins or loses, everything is arranged so that he comes out of it intact. Yes, I... Ah, you've got to hand it to him, though. He's a master at putting together a plan which puts himself at no risk. That's true. Don't worry, he... you can trust him. Of course. All but he's invested in a river transport company on the Mississippi or somewhere like that. It's true I had never thought about what he might have to gain. Louis, you convinced me. I congratulate you for your performance, because I didn't think it could happen. I merely exposed the facts to you. Don't spoil everything with your false modesty now. You really were very good, and that's that. In any case, I shall follow you on this one. This may well arouse Lord Mortimer's wrath, but I must put the United States before anything else. Have we finished, Louis? Absolutely, Mr. President. I shan't keep you any longer. Allow me to take my leave. Good night, Louis. Get some rest. Tomorrow will be a very big day. Well, that's one thing out of the way. The only thing left to do is wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Ve, vete a la cama. No, no, espera, vale, espera, espera, espera. A ver si puedo entrar en otra habitación. La de Adams está aquí. Aquí tendría que haber entrado antes para investigar sobre el crimen y no lo hice. Vale, todo esto ya lo leímos. Creo, creo que lo leímos todo eso. Sí, sí, todo esto está... ¿Qué más falta? Falta esta habitación que no sé si se podrá entrar. A ver... Esta es la de... Sí, sí se puede entrar, a ver. The Great Work of the Soul by S. Madone. Pure alchemy is a thought, an art that is performed on the matter of the soul. Great alchemists work to transform and perfect the latter by a series of processes known as the Great Work. 
There are four phases to attain the ultimate in spiritual fulfillment. Son cuatro las fases necesarias para alcanzar la realización espiritual definitiva. Ni idea. Ni idea. No Very metaphorical, idea. as occult theories go. The human spirit being the prima materia of the alchemist. A chest lock with a four letter code. Surely a word close to the owner's heart. Vale, tampoco. Golden elixir. Otro elixir dorado. Bueno, puedo gastar uno. Puedo gastar. Oh, solo quedan dos jaleas real. Venga, voy a gastar uno. The signs of obscurantism. No, no me dice nada. Otro libro más. Esto será una moneda. Pound. The alchemist is a young man. Querido Johan, me alegra que haya decidido venir. Estaba seguro de que aceptaría mi invitación, a pesar de los riesgos y de conocernos muy bien. Aunque hemos superado numerosos obstáculos juntos, no puedo ocultar mis temores esta vez. Los asuntos que debemos tratar son clave. Que se una a nosotros, Johan, es un fa factor valiosísimo. Siga trabajando duro y estaré aún más orgulloso y satisfecho. Espero verle de nuevo pronto. Otra moneda más. Alchemist is an old man. Amber crystals. Vale, ya tengo otro de otro ámbar. Ah, o es el tercero. No, se me ha aumentado dos puntos más bien. Eso está bien. Y lo que no pillo es esto. A ver. The Great Work of the Soul by S. Madone. Pure alchemy is a thought, an art that is performed on the matter of the soul. Great alchemists work to transform and perfect the latter by a series of processes known as the Great Work. There are four phases to attain the ultimate and spiritual fulfillment. The human soul must descend, be corrupt, in order to become decomposed. It's something like what I felt when I think of what I found out about my mother. The soul broken up must be purified by the alchemist. Nice program. The soul must be transformed in order to attain sublimation by the recombination of the alchemist. It's tempting. Thus ends the great work. The incarnation of the purified spirit the elevation of the soul now become perfect. Its resurrection, thanks to the action of the alchemist. Except if the alchemist has bad intentions, then it's called manipulation. The soul must be transformed I know, I in order to attain sublimation by the recombination of the alchemist. It's tempting. Very metaphorical, as occult theories go. The human spirit being the prima materia of the alchemist. Vale, aquí se puede escribir la palabra. The four letter code. A ver. Should be a word close to the owner's heart. No, no se puede.
no sé, no sé lo que poner aquí. A ver. No me extrañaría nada que la palabra saliera de este libro. Creía que era la palabra alma, pero porque se repite constantemente la palabra alma. Great aquí. Work of the Soul by S. Madone. Pure alchemy is a thought, an art that is performed on the matter of the soul. Great alchemists work to transform and perfect the latter by a series of processes known as the great work. There are four phases to attain the ultimate in spiritual fulfillment. Very metaphorical as occult theories go, the human spirit being the prima materia of the alchemist. ¿Qué más? ¿Se puede salir fuera? Sí. Vale, jalea. Otro elixir dorado más y otra moneda. Amber crystal. No, ámbar. de la torre, ahí faltaría esta que está aquí, que no podía entrar a ver es a ah, la habitación de la torre y que son esas cosas en el suelo hey Peru's name tags fallen off ¿Qué and his door aquí? is ajar Mi querida niña Eolo, eh, Eleonor, me gustaría compartir contigo mis pensamientos más tranquilos del momento. No hace falta que te diga lo mucho que te he hecho de menos y cuánto me arrepiento de, haberte, de haberme separado de ti. Pero sé que serás virtuosa y valiente, y que estarás a salvo con tu hermana Merie Hel Helen. Nunca podré enmendar mis errores, pero ahora sé que... Cómo mantenerte a salvo de tus consecuencias de una vez por todas. Ten siempre presente mi devoción y mi cariño paternales. Nunca dudes de ellos. Pese lo que pase, pase lo que pase. Debes saber que todo saldrá bien al final. Me aseguraré de protegerte, cueste lo que cueste. Así que mantén la confianza y la serenidad en tiempo de, de dificultades. Esa caja no se puede abrir. Esta sí. Cuatro círculos. De esa no tengo llave. Engaño nivel 1, pero sí que tengo. A ver, ya. Sí que puedo gastar estos dos puntos. Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. The children you sent 
are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, please note that another twenty beds will soon be ready. The children and myself will never thank you enough. Long live the Republic. Long live France. Sister Marie Allen. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. I have no Vaya, space left. I'll retrieve it later. El Mr. Peru este. O Peru. Que parecía tan... Tan malo. Parecía el malo del juego. A ver, ¿dónde está? Aquí está. Parecía el malo del juego. Y mira el tío. Y esto, la niña esta será... A ver, con uh, tu orgulloso padre. Será una, una de las que están... Aquí, ¿no? I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. The children you sent... I have no space left. Una de las niñas que están en el orfanato, a lo mejor. No creo que sea su padre de verdad. No llego. Ah, sí. Records of the police. Notes intended for the police lieutenant of Paris. It's a list of people under surveillance in Paris. And there's some well-known names on it. This is valuable information. This shouldn't be lying around. Vale, hemos encontrado... A ver... Vulnerabilidad a la psicología. ¿Qué más tenemos por aquí? Bonaparte, a ver si se puede entrar ahí. Sí, sí se puede. Pero no sé si aquí había entrado ya o no. Me acuerdo. The Beaucaire Dinner. It hasn't been signed yet, but there's a letter with it. Es mi estimado Bonaparte, como le prometí, aquí tiene las páginas que le recomiendo que publique en los próximos meses. Ambos sabemos que la falta de tiempo le ha impedido re redactar estas líneas usted mismo, sin embargo, reflejan sus ideas. No debe sentirse en deuda, pues su éxito será suficiente para traer el bien a todos. So, Bonaparte is going to publish a book that he didn't write. That crafty little rascal. It's a beautiful weapon. A lovely damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Inmunidad descubierta. A ver. Bonaparte, ¿dónde estás? Aquí. A la persuasión. Es inmune. Pero mira, no cuesta nada. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Pues nada, no hay nada. Estimado Monseñor Bonaparte. Eh, en respuesta a su petición para consagrarse dentro de nuestra sociedad, le informo de que, por desgracia, no cumple los requisitos para convertirse en miembro de la Orden Dorada. Ah, quiso entrar en la, en la Orden. Sin embargo, es un honor que haya mostrado interés en nuestras investigaciones y actividades. Estamos convencidos de que su gran interés por las ciencias ocultas le permitirá unirse en el futuro. Hasta que llegue este momento, acepte todo nuestro aprecio. ¿Y quién la firma? Ah, la madre de... 
la madre de este de este tío, del protagonista. A bicorn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm. That might come in handy. Otra inmunidad descubierta de, de Napoleón, vamos a ver. Inmunidad a la política. Es inmune a todo el tío, eh. Ya tengo abrojos, esto ya lo leí. Solo es una habitación. No, no. Esta habitación también. O no. No, no se puede pasar. Pues nada, vamos a... Esto ya está. Y aquí, ¿quién era? Emily, a ver si... No, en, su, en la habitación de Emily, no sé. Ya, ya, ya lo intenté antes y no, no pude. Godoy, no sé si entré. Sí, sí que entré. Sí que entré antes. Vale, ¿y qué más? No sé si volver ya a la habitación. Bueno, me quedaría por resolver de qué habitación era. De la habitación de, de Wolner, creo que era. El libro aquel de... Ay, ¿de qué era? De... Ay, no me acuerdo. Que hablaban del alma. Es lo único que, que me he dejado atrás. Bueno, y alguna que se abre con la llave de cuatro círculos, pero como no la tengo, pues nada. A ver, en la habitación es esta. Y el libro es este. The Great Work of the Soul by S. Madone. Pure alchemy is a ah, de alquimia, el libro de alquimia. It is performed on the matter of the soul. Great alchemists work to transform and perfect the latter by a series of processes known as the Great Work. There are four phases to attain the ultimate in spiritual fulfillment. Very metaphorical, as occult theories go, the human spirit being the prima materia of the alchemist. A chest locked with a four-letter code, surely a word close to the owner's heart. No se me ocurre. La verdad es que no se me ocurre nada. The alchemist is a young man. The signs of the zodiac. Un signo de zodiaco. A chest lock with a four-letter code. Surely a word close to the owner's heart. Alchemical symbols. Someone circled the zinc symbol. Zinc? Where se puede escribir zinc aquí? A chest lock with a four-letter code. Surely a word close to the owner's heart. Sí, la Z sí. Sí. Ah, 
Ahí está. Había un libro dentro de... Ajá. Notas misteriosas. Este es el libro que acabamos de coger, que es un punto en ocultismo. Y lo de las notas misteriosas, ¿dónde está? Podría ser una de... no, no sé, no me acuerdo. ¿Cuántas tenía? Aquí no está. Bueno, ahora sí, yo creo que ya está. ¿Qué es eso? Ajá, brujo. Ahora sí, ir a la cama ya, porque ya estoy harto de dar tantas vueltas. Eh, la habitación está aquí, justo al, al otro lado. Creo que al dormir se, se recuperan todos los puntos de esfuerzo. Eso espero. ¿Cuál es la habitación? Es esta. Sí, esta es la habitación. Good evening, Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? No, claro que no. That's not what I said. Ah, oh, by the way, congratulations on choosing Sir Gregory this evening. You surprised me. I wasn't expecting it. Why, Emily? Can't you read me like an open book? Not as well as you read me, it would seem. I'll teach you if you'd like. There's nothing I'd like more. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? Hey, le digo lo de Emma. No, no se lo voy a decir. Still nothing, no. Very well. Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Come, Louis. Otra visión. My friends, do not worry. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential in him. He looks like he can be trusted. Why isn't he with us? He was opposed to Mortimer. I'll wait and see. I'm still not sure of his position. And uh, Duchess Hillsborough. Oh, why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it time to replace her? Not so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You ought to have a little more faith in her. What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack. On our chessboard, he is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing. To keep his dear America united. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to uh, bring him around. 
I have asked Monsieur de Richet to approach him. Let us have faith in him. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us too. Yet he is Mortimer's strong arm in France. He knows his time has come, and I believe he's intelligent enough to realize it means he is no longer any use to Mortimer. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please, excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh, I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now! Emily? Emily? Are you there? Sir, the conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Come on, Louis. The game is back on. Uf, pues no he recuperado ni un punto de esfuerzo al, de al dormir. My friends, the conference is about to begin. Please excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will lack panache, and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you. I am convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice, and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it. Even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Luke Manuel? Against, of course. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, what is your position? Well, you see, Monsieur Bonaparte, I would rather you'd have forgotten me for a minute. William, I am sorry, but I cannot follow you this time. George? What? I am against William. Please excuse me. I cannot commit the United States to such an enterprise. It's just too risky. Well? That leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. My Lord do this, and Madame do just that. You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, come in. Let's end the charade. It's over. Jacques. My Lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jack, we'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom back, my lord. I shall no longer work for you. Oof, intervenir. Wait! De Richet, you just can't help it, can you? Una sola oportunidad. No puedo fallar. Y no tengo jalea. Bueno, jalea sí, pero no tengo punto. A ver, vamos a ver. Psicología. Es vulnerable a la psicología. Vale.
Vale, no se lo merece. I know I don't really know you, but you seem like a decent person. I have done so many horrible things. You blame yourself, I can see that. Everything's not lost. I don't want to do bad things anymore. You can take control of yourself again. You can fix whatever it is you've done. Do you really believe that? Of course, Jack. You'll have all the time you need. Vale, persuasión, nivel 1 y Aquí no sabemos. Su hija no tiene nada que temer. Perca permanezcamos unidos. Esto es lógica. Uff. Su hija no tiene nada que temer. No sé si decirle esto. Se lo voy a decir. Look, you've done as much as you can. You have nothing to fear. Your daughter is safe. Shut up! No, no, no. Se va a matar. Va. Dice, podría haber descubierto el secreto de Jax Perú. Mira que mi... Y no he salvado. No lo he podido salvar. Vale, cuatro puntos más. Protocolo, venga, uno de protocolo. Erudición para tener algún punto. Ciencias para tener al menos un punto. Y distracción para tener al menos un punto. Ahora tengo todos un punto de todos estos y dos de todos estos, ¿vale? Monsieur Peru has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again it has worked. My friends, let us settle down, please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us praise Louis' gesture anyway. You did what you could. Yes, it was very noble of you, Louis. It wasn't your fault. There was nothing else you could have done. I think everyone needs a little rest. Can you stay a moment? Of course. Vale, tres manuscritos. Este me da tres puntos. Así que este está, este es seguro. Y luego dos más. ¿En qué? Manipulación. En lógica. Agilidad. Ocultismo. Va, ¿qué más da? A ver. Uno de lógica. Y otro de, de erudición. Ah, no puedo bajar por ahí. 
Vale, supongo que... Tengo que hablar con este. Louis, I wanted to talk to you a moment about what has happened. All this is tragic, but I wanted to thank you for doing what you could. I wasn't able to save him. You couldn't do it. You mustn't blame yourself. It is not your fault. Ay, es culpa suya. Es culpa su... Sí. Sabía que pasaría, ¿no? No lo sabía. Le vamos a echar la culpa. I know this has nothing to do with me, my lord. But don't you think you're partly to blame? It won't escape your attention that he incriminated you before he took his own life. I heard what he said, yeah. Monsieur Peru appeared to blame me for his condition. I certainly encouraged him to succeed, but I wasn't aware he couldn't handle the pressures of the situation. Of course, his duties in Paris were very difficult. The choices he had to make were burdensome. But that was the path he had chosen. Should I not have helped him to succeed, perhaps? You heard him yourself. His duties as judge got the better of him. Did you push him into it? I wouldn't say push, but I did encourage him, yes. I thought it was my duty to help him as much as I could to become the court judge he dreamed of being. I thought he was capable of it. It appears I was mistaken, unfortunately. What a pity he didn't come and speak to me. He did. What do you mean? He went to talk to you in your study the day before yesterday. Unfortunately, you weren't there. Well, I was not informed of this. What a waste. What are your plans now? What do you mean? For the conference. After the disappearances of both Elizabeth Adams and my mother, and now the death of Mr. Perlou, I should imagine that your guests are all packing their bags. This might come as a bit of a shock to you, perhaps because it was so difficult to bring all these figures together. But I am convinced that none of them is preparing to leave. Mm -hmm. ¿A qué se refiere? They are all very experienced politicians. And though they are, of course, affected by the situation, they know full well that such an opportunity will not come again for a long, long time, if ever. They each represent their nation and know full well that what is at stake here is far greater than the death of poor Monsieur Peru. You'll see. I am confident that they will all be ready to resume the conference. If you say so, allow me to take my leave, please. Of course. You ought to get some rest. Oh, Louis, uh, one more thing, please. What a pity you didn't support me during the conference. I hope I can count on you on the day of the vote. This major project needs men like you, Louis. Me lo pensaré, pero And no, no me lo voy a right. pensar. Maybe by then, I'll see things differently. Well, thank you for allowing me to believe in that possibility, Louis. From here on, I shall make it my mission to persuade you to change your vote. Be my guest. But I hope your arguments are very, very persuasive, because I'm not the only one who isn't on your side. Oh, <laughs> rest assured. I am working on it. Very well then. I'll see you later, my lord. Vuelve a la habitación. Allá no puedo abrir la pared. Si no se daría cuenta. Vale, ¿y ahora qué? Voy a ir a la habitación de Perú a ver si... ¿Y esto? Sí, Yes, sir. Monsieur Bonaparte. Sorry, Dorichet. I have no time for traitors such as yourself. 
I beg your pardon? If you are here, it's because Lord Mortimer agreed to include you. And what's the first thing that you do? You betray him by following Sir Gregory and bending over backwards to turn Washington against him. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was free to vote as I pleased. I didn't realize I had to vote for Lord Mortimer in order to show my gratitude toward him. Hey, he invited me here to come and look for my missing mother during his high society party. I'm sorry, truly sorry. I don't know all your customs yet. It's just common decency that when invited to a man's castle, you don't go and to pee on his boots. Is it too much to ask? I guess it is. Vale. ¿Qué más? A ver. La habitación es. Ah, no me va a dejar entrar. I am sorry, sir, but you are unable to access Monsieur Perrou's room while we gather his personal effects. Pues nada. A ver, voy a volver a la habitación y yo no creo que haya que volver a, a mirar todas las habitaciones de nuevo. Ya he entrado menos en la habitación de... ¿Dónde estás? Aquí. Aquí es... Menos en esta habitación, que no me deja entrar todavía. Vale, pues ya está. Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. What now? Louis, open up, please. Coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. Louis, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh, shit. Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. Vale, ahora sí podré entrar en la habitación de Emily a ver dónde es la que está justo al lado. A ver, esta que está aquí. No, todavía no. Y si vamos por fuera, por el balcón. Ya, no puedo entrar. Entonces, ¿dónde están? Encuentra a Emily, pues no está en su habitación. Vale, aquí sí puedo entrar. Podré ir por el balcón aquí. Monsieur Dorishi. I have no time. I was about to join Sir Gregory. Come back later. Eh, ah, mira, I wanted to decir. talk to you a moment. I am expected. I'm sorry. We shall talk later. Pues no, me echa. Pues no tengo ni idea de dónde puede, de dónde puede estar Emily y la madre. Aquí. I do believe that's Emily's voice. Escuchar a través de la puerta, a ver. I can't understand what she's saying. 
わ。Claro, si a través. No puedo entrar aquí. A ver, voy a volver a probar. Aquí no me deja entrar. Aquí me echa a la calle. Pues voy a llamar a la puerta, a ver. Es lo único que me queda. Aunque por aquí detrás... Ah, el jardín... Ah, no, pero esto es el jardín. Esta es la parte de abajo. Eh, llamar. Emily. Emily, ¿estás ahí? Answerme. Emily. Intentar abrir. Tampoco. A ver. A forzar. Vale, vamos a probar esto. Vale, pues por esta puerta no es. A ver. A ver si este... Puedo convencerle para que me deje entrar. I am sorry, sir, but you are unable to access Monsieur Peru's room while we gather his personal effects. No. ¿Y esta habitación de aquí de quién es? A ver... Ah, esta es la que yo quiero entrar, es verdad. I do believe that's Emily's voice. Sí, esto ya lo he hecho, vale. Me volverá a echar otra vez. Ah, ya no está. Vale. Ahora podré salir fuera. Sí, por aquí. Vale. I have to get inside Emily's room to the shit. No, está cerrada, vale. ¿Qué más? Intentar forzar la ventana. No way. It's too sturdy. Que hace falta 5 puntos y dificultad 7 y 5. Y aquí... Ay, venga. Damn it. It's closed. Seems like the key is still in the lock on the other side. That means I won't be able to pick it. Or I could do as I did the last time in the tower room. Eh, mirar el hueco, a ver. Examinar el hueco. Get the key by pushing something underneath and making it fall. Hacer que caiga la llave. A ver. Nice and slow. It's not a very complex lock. I'm sure I can force it if I can just find something to smash it with. Vale, y no se puede hacer lo mismo. Dice que iba a hacer lo mismo, pero no está la opción. Porque, a ver, sí que tengo el imán. Tengo el imán. Pero... Ah, y aquí está el imán. Usar la llave. Vale, voy a... A examinar esto antes de 
de ir para allá a ver qué cosas hay. As previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. ¿Qué más tenemos por aquí? Amber crystals. Amber. Prince actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. Y aquí qué hay? Más monedas. A ver, se puede salir por aquí. Y a ver, esta no, esta. Huh. It's as if there are several people inside. Once again, you're the one who's the victim in all this. A letter what from William you about the Younger. I should never have told you what happened to me. The present That's prime minister of the United Kingdom. Full well. I'm has not that naive. Some powerful I know you inside out. Madam, Stop. Thank you for we'll consoling the Queen. The on. King's situation is worsening, but I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the King? I will personally see to it that our nation will recover from this impasse. But a letter from William Pitt the Elder addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from 15 years ago now. Madam, I shall never thank you enough for all your care and attention. I shall be indebted to you until my last breath. If you have any request of me, you only need ask. With regards to my son William, I shall never thank you enough for looking after him. You know the latter's preferences, and you will understand he needs you desperately. For that, and as agreed with Queen Charlotte, our friend Duke Hillsborough will carry out his task and meet with you within six months. From then on, you'll be free from want. Yours sincerely, William Pitt, Count of Jeff. Two coils circle the lock. Vale, dos círculos no lo tengo. ¿Qué más? Buscar, no me cuesta nada. Devil's Thorn. To be used to uncover the best disguised traits. Aquí que hay. Ala, elixir dorado. What on earth is you, mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk after everything I've done for you. You are joking, I hope, right? I gave you my life. That's enough, Emma. Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... What? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You frizzy little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on, then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on, then. Shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait, what's going- An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I... That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma. 
Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I... That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait, I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival... En la noche que llegamos, a la gemela de adelante y a la gemela de atrás. ¿Qué mata? ¿Quién nos acompañaba? ¿A qué me dedico? ¿Qué me ocurrió? ¿Qué me dio? Uf, vale, es que... ¿Quién nos acompañaba? Sí, ya lo sé. ¿Y qué me dio? Sí, el pañuelo. ¿Qué me ocurrió también? Lo de la visión. ¿A qué me dedico? Ella... Ella me lo preguntó. A ver, ¿qué me dio? Gave me something. I wasn't feeling very well, and you gave me something. What was it? My handkerchief. And you even kept it. It was stained with your blood. Louis, I already told her. This is all a waste of time. I'm the one who told you. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, uh, hmm. yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. A ver, Inquisición... Uh, ¿Dónde está? No sabemos ninguna... Bah, no sabemos ninguna uh, vulnerabilidad ni nada, así que... ¿Quién había frente a la chimenea? ¿Quién se quedó y quién se fue? ¿Cómo nos recibió Mortimer? On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. Mortimer welcomed us in a very odd way. What happened? It won't work, Louis. It wasn't Mortimer who welcomed us. It was Sir Gregory. Sorry, Louis. I already told her. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed. But I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. A ver, ha descubierto... De Emily ha descubierto psicología... Vulnerabilidad a la psicología. Vale. De modo que salía a dar un paseo. Nos encontramos, hablamos en ese momento. Do you remember if we saw each other that night or not? Not at all. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on! She's putting one over on you! Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? ¿Dónde estábamos? Hacerla hablar sobre los objetos encontrados. Vale, we found este ourselves ahí. in Mortimer's secret gallery. What did we find in that room? A load of old junk that Mortimer had collected. A so-called Pandora's box in the form of an urn. An old sheepskin that he must take for the Golden Fleece. The Bible of Judas. Property deeds as old as the hills. And a broken old sword. You are wasting your time, Louis. She already knows all that. Of course I do. I was there. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Louis, 
There's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. Psicología, a ver. Es vulnerable a la psicología. Last night, you came to visit me and I can't help wondering why. Why did you come to my room? Louis, you must be mistaken. I did not go to your room last night. And that's where your little game ends, Emma. Because I never told you about it. So, there you can't answer. What? No! You didn't do that. I didn't want you to be jealous of Louis. Remember how you always used to react whenever you felt you were competing against a man? You dirty... That's enough. I've had enough of this charade. That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. Ay, no puedo ver. Ah, no sé cuál es. No sé si la que fue al cuarto fue Emily o su hermana. You are Emily Hillsborough. I knew you wouldn't get it wrong, Louis. No, you little bitch. Watch out, Louis. No. Hell, what have I done? See what you've done. See. Louis? What on earth is going- Mother! Go. You must leave. Everyone's going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Go! Go, Mother! No one must find you here. Go. Come, Louis. There's nothing more you can do. But I- Leave us. Emily. What's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I'm coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her, please. Go, I'll cover you. Vale, y ahora a, a la cripta. Pues parece que sí que acerté quién era la hermana correcta. Good God. They're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Vale, la cripta. No, esto es la entrada, a ver. Comedor, biblioteca, galería. El jardín. ¿Y desde dónde salía el jardín? 
desde la galería, puede ser. A Greek drachma, one of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned both in the Bible and in the Quran. Chronicles of the Amber Princes. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. Vale, seguir. Esta puerta es la... A ver, es aquí, sí, creo que es aquí. Vale, a ver por dónde era. No, esto está cerrado. Y esto también. ¿Qué hay aquí? Vale, por aquí, pero también se podía llegar por otro, por otro lado, creo. Bueno. Louis, at last there you are. Mother, wait, I... Come, we have to be quick. No, wait, mother, I... Time is running out, Louis. First, we must... No. That's enough. I won't go a step further unless you explain to me what is going on here. I'm begging you. Talk to me. You must trust me, my son. You are not ready yet. You are the one who should trust me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. I came all the way here for you. Now I've found you. I'm ready, mother. If only Louis... I have always taught you to keep your mind open and rational. I know you are going to find this hard to believe, but what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. Many years ago, I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? And that they can influence our thoughts. Mother, listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out loud, listen to what you're saying. Demons? <laughs> what next? An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What do your demons look like? Have they got horns and a pointed tail? No, these are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. They possess their hosts and direct them from inside. Parasitic spirits? Yes, they are capable of going from one body to another as they see fit. And two of them are present on this island. Right, so let me guess. Eh, a ver, ¿cuál puede ser? El hombre del saco de Papá Noel. <laughs> Ay. 
<laughs> Lord Mortimer. Mortimer and Sir Gregory, right? You felt it too? No, <laughs> even if home does look the part. But I don't know who else could do it, given that we're on their territory. Many years ago, well before you were born, I crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, I was persuaded that Von Burchard was working for this demon in one way or another. But I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error, an error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Burchard was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Volner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? They both seem to disagree about many things, but I'll admit I never knew exactly why. There are many of them, Louis, not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? Pues no, yo no he notado nada. Pero no viste nada, no. No, no, no. I shan't follow you down that path. I wouldn't be doing you any favors. Rational and open, Louis. Tell me then, how can anyone own properties all over the world for centuries, always having signed documents with the same signature? Well, I can find ten other explanations less eccentric than demonic possession, Mother. How come the Mortimers have had only one male heir for each generation since the Third Crusade? Forgery, family rights, where they get rid of the daughter, there are dozens of less extravagant possibilities. How could one man motivate so many future leading figures of the day on his silly island without anyone finding out about it? Even the Golden Order isn't capable of that. Well, he's simply better than us, and he's welcome to it. You refuse to open your eyes, Louis. You've lost your objectivity, Mother. I saw him! Wh what do you mean, you saw him? I was 20 years old. I was young and carefree. I traveled the world in search of adventure. In the Persian Gulf, we came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked. Composed of seven parts, each one was a book in itself, set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. When all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. But the writing was in a language I had never seen before. Developed well before Sumerian, in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small occult circle composed of all the major names in the occult world to see if anyone else could crack it. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. I found him, or rather he found me. He was young, charismatic, he was flamboyant. Wait a minute, who are you talking about? Von Borchard? No, no, Mortimer, of course. No. He was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book, and he was able to decipher a few passages. We spent several months together studying the pages. He was already old in those days, wasn't he? So you recognized him when you arrived on the island, right? No, he wasn't in that body. But I know it was him. I swear it was him. The way he spoke, his posture, a few of his intonations, his mannerisms. Wait a minute. You were talking about 60 years ago. I I've lost the thread. Yes, sorry. He helped me understand certain passages until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me. But I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. He used me, and in the end, he stole the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least I don't think so. But before disappearing, he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up.
seguirlo y dejar que me enseñase, que me educase. Se negó. Confused, of course. Why naturally, Louis? You don't make deals with the devil. After that, I spent my whole life looking for him. Three years later, in Berlin, I just missed him. In London, I lost six members of the order in a chase. In 1741, in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. You Insistir, agreed, a ver. and that was before you spoke to me about demons. Wait, the baby we delivered, you and me, that night in Venice, did he have anything to do with Lord Mortimer? The child was his son. We stole his son? Are you insane? I always thought we took him to save him. That was the case. It was precisely to save him from his father. Need I remind you the mother died during childbirth? What became of the child? Later. For the moment, that is not the key issue here. Once we found the Alizif in Paris, I followed Von Borchert's trail here. I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? Wait a minute, one last thing. Mm, a ver. I want to know what happened with Elizabeth Adams. Louis, we haven't time for those details. I'm sorry, Venga, mother, saber. but I want to know. She was one of the receptacles for these monsters. I met her parents when she was born. One of the demons got inside her. The demon used her to spy on her father, John Adams. He is one of the founding fathers and vice president of the United States, you know. Mortimer possessed her? No, I don't think it was Mortimer. Her father, John Adams, hired me to tend to her, but the evil in her was too deep. In spite of the various treatments I tried on her, I never succeeded in getting it out of her. It's not something I'm proud of, Louis, but I had to try everything. Uh, ¿quién la mató? La... A ver. Do you know who killed her? Absolutely not. Vale. Lo de los cañones, que tiene que What ver was con going todo on esto? with the cannons in Tuscany? It was nothing. Finance wars. The cannons for that Bonaparte fellow? Listen, once in the lion's den, I did whatever I could to appear legitimate. So yes, I pretended to be interested in Mortimer's project about a young military man who was seeking funding for a foundry in Tuscany. Between you and me, if buying China would have enabled me to escape, I would have signed without hesitation. Vale. ¿Y qué le pasó? A ver... Ay, I want to know what happened between you and Emily's sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices, Louis. That's all you need to know. Ay, gastaría dos puntos. Uh. Ah. Mother, I won't take a step further if you don't answer me. You dare blackmail me? I'm listening. All right, I used her. So there you are. Happy now? We had the Al-Azif, and I didn't think we would be able to escape with it. In order to ensure that the book did not fall into their hands, or that one of them couldn't read in us where we had hidden it, I asked Emily to... It's Emma. Yes, or rather for me, it was Emily. So I asked Emma to hide it without anyone seeing, and then I disposed of her. I am sorry for her, but she was part of the Golden Order, Louis. She knew the rules when she joined. Vale. Y ahora... ¿Qué What did you negotiate about the Alasif with Volner? Absolutely nothing. I managed to pull the wool over his eyes until I found a way to flee. 
Vale, otros. Encontré tu carta. You wanted to send me a letter about Godoy. I wanted you to run a check on Duke Manuel. But frankly, it doesn't really matter anymore now. Godoy is just a pawn like the others. He is not the one I was looking for. Vale, ¿por qué escondiste tus, tus pertenencias en el embarcadero? As a matter of fact, I needed it yesterday. I wasn't expecting anyone to take it. No tenía que haberme llevado la comida. Vale, ¿qué le pasó a la mano? Better than that, I shall show you. Vale, y la carta. On the evening of my arrival, Cardinal Piaggi came looking for you. He was determined to give you a letter. More of his lists. Louis, I think I know what's in that letter, and I beseech you to believe that it is the least of our worries. We can sort that out later. Pues no queda nada más, ¿no? Venga, Good. adelante. I think that's about right. We shall speak about it once we get back to France. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? He demands that the Spanish hand over Louisiana to France. Oh, knowing him, it won't stop there. We should do our utmost to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But for the time being, there are more pressing matters. Are you going to tell me why we're here? There. That's why we are here. Vale, otro puzzle. A ver. Vale. Cuatro puntos más, a ver de qué. Observación. Un punto de observación, uno de psicología, uno de lógica y y uno de ciencia. Reassure me, we aren't going to have to force that one, are we? I don't think we're even capable of doing it. You're going to have to find a way to open it. Why, of course. And what's inside? Something to vanquish them with? Perfect. So, how does it open? We'll need several keys. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism. In Mortimer's secret study, we have to first gather five objects before we try anything. Are the five objects the keys? Exactly. We have the Clement III cross, the nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the exegesis of Judas, an armillary sphere, and all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. Vale, una Why cruz. cross? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea, but it just so happens That's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, better known by the name of Pope Clement III. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. When I lost my hand, I went dashing out, and it must have fallen from my pocket. <sighs> no sé si lo habré visto. No me acuerdo de haberlo visto. No, no me acuerdo. Que hago un esfuerzo por recordar. Remember, mother. I, I'm certain you can remember. Let me think. You were running. I was bleeding to death. You remember the pain. I thought I was going to faint. Yes, I remember. I don't think it can be far, can it? Would you have lost it outside? No, I don't think so. It must be in the area. I don't remember going up with it. Perfect. I'll search the crypt before leaving. Vale, esta es la cripta la cruz. Los clavos. Some nails. Don't ask me. I'm not the one who made the mechanism, you know. 
When I arrived, there were already a few of them inserted, so I didn't have to worry about those. On the other hand, I remember seeing some in Mortimer's secret study, behind his nightmare. In a golden cup? Yes. Yes, I saw them too. Perfect. It will be easy for you to find them then. You need three of them. Very well. You remember what to do about the rollers. 1191 to enter. And 6466 to exit. Of course. Eh, uh, a ver, la exigencia. Anything else? Hmm. You... Did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? To open the chimney? Yes, absolutely. So you've already come across it. It's the Bible of Judas that is exposed in the secret room behind the chimney. Why do they call it an exegesis? Because that's what it is, and not an apocryphal Bible, strictly speaking. It's the study of a text with a summary, not an actual Bible. Anyway, well done for the Gorgon. You did well. You didn't get tricked by the light bouncing back. Thanks. Do you think I can take it safely? We haven't got a choice, Louis. Without it, we won't be able to work out this cursed mechanism. Vale, otras. La Biblia de Gutenberg. Eso sí lo vi. Estaba en un cuarto. This is the book in which you left your correspondence with Duchess Hillsborough, isn't it? That's right. You still believe it's in the tower room, don't you? I don't know. There is only one way to find out, though. Right. I shall go and see. Life There's one in the portrait gallery. Yes, but it's enormous. If you don't want to have to go back and forth several times, then I suggest you get a smaller one. What did you do then? I didn't think I'd need one. I started without one, and I lost my hand before I did need one. And you can see the result. Lola what fechas. do you mean by the concordance of dates, exactly? Don't worry about that. We already have them. They are written on the back of the message I just gave you. Bueno, ya está. A ver. No hay más One pregunta. last thing before you go. Be very careful. If you come across anyone, they can all potentially be spies of Mortimer or Holm. Don't ever confide in anyone because a demon can slip inside them at any moment. Wait, not all of them though. Take Washington. Especially Washington. He's been conditioned by Mortimer for years. Look at them for crying out loud. How do you explain their behavior otherwise? The most influential politicians in the Western world gather together without the least protection, without a single aid to assist them, to participate in a conference during which the guests start dropping like flies. Me, Adams, Peru, Hillsborough, look at the number of calamities that have happened over the past few days. And not one of them has asked to leave the island? Do you find that normal? You'll see. Go up to the manor to look for the keys, and I wager not one of them will speak to you about my being in Emily's room. Do you think so? Go on, you'll see. And come back with all the objects in one go. Time is against us. And remember, the code to get out of the secret office is 6466. Vale. Tres manuscritos. Inquisición, agilidad, ocultismo. Una de ocultismo, una de inquisición y una de manipulación. Venga. Vale, tengo las notas del arquitecto. Ay, pero no, no lo puedo leer. Ah, bueno, me lo pone aquí. La Cruz de Clemente III, Xegnis, la Esfera, los Clavos y la Biblia. A ver, ¿cómo se sale de aquí por aquí? A ver, para salir de aquí era por detrás, por la parte, por aquí. Eh, no, por aquí no. Por aquí.
Vale. Eh... Estoy en la galería de retrato. Right. Let's see if the statues are in place yet. Vale, hay que recolocar las estatuas otra vez. Sí, están en el mismo sitio de antes, ¿no? Sí. Están en el mismo sitio. The sword toward the Gorgon. That's good. It's vale, in the right place. Bien. That statue is not positioned correctly. Esta no, entonces girar hacia el, el escudo. Sí, exacto, eso es. Open sesame. Vale, y aquí tengo que encontrar qué era. La esfera. A fragment of amber. O la Biblia, la Biblia. A ver. So that's the exegesis ah, no. of Judas. Exegenes de Judas. Whoever vale. doesn't read it very often, otherwise he's going to notice that someone stole it. But that's just too bad. I need it. Vale, un objeto. Faltan cuatro más. Right. I've got what I need. Now let's not waste any more time. Ahora hay que ir al despacho de Mortimer, creo que estaba. Que se va a ver. Vale, hay que dar toda la vuelta. Vale, ahora hay que subir. Y ahora hay que ir a dónde? Por aquí creo que era. Y no, no. This time, it'll be a lot quicker. Ah, esta vez lo hace el solo. If I remember rightly, the code no, 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 one 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 nine one. Ah, pff, pues no, lo tengo que hacer yo. Uno, uno. Nueve, uno. Vale, listo. La palanca. Of 
course. Vale, ¿y qué hacía falta encontrar aquí? Weaknesses of the Human Psyche by Gilham Trimor. Mira, ahora sí tengo lingüística, antes no podía. Trimor. Y ahora sí. Trimor. An anagram of Mortimer. Wow. Arrogant enough to publish writings on mental control. Full view of everyone. I wonder who he's writing for. ¿Qué más tenemos por aquí? Notas. Más notas, toda esta nota ya, ya la leí. A ver, ¿qué más? Tenemos por aquí las cartas del tarot. ¿Quién podría Mortimer haber locked in there? Microscopio. A Van Lovenhut microscope. Aquí está la cruz. No, a ver. The most sophisticated no, microscope no, no. there is. When I think of the difficulty the order had in getting hold of one of these. Feathers, pigeons probably. Like obsidian or, or onyx, it must weigh a ton. What on earth could that be? Pues no veo que a ver la cruz, esfera, clavos y la Biblia. La Biblia recuerdo que estaba en una de las habitaciones de uno de los invitados, si no recuerdo mal. Y aquí qué puede ser. Microscope? The most sophisticated microscope. Who could Mortimer have locked in there? Feathers, pigeons, probably. Ah, clavos. Mira, ahí están los clavos. There. Those are the nails I was looking for. Analizarlos para qué? Me los llevo directamente. Salir. Right. Come on, let's get out of here. Six four six six, if I remember correctly. Vale, esta vez no tengo que, que hacerlo yo. ¿Qué más? Eh, la cruz de Clemente III. Esfera. Y una Biblia. A ver, ¿dónde está? No. ¿En qué habitación estaba? Asesor del rey de Prusia. Adams, Washington. Godoy. Vale, la cruz estaba... Dice que la perdió cuando... Le cortaron la mano y está en la capilla. Vale, eso ya iremos después. Y la Biblia... Vale, recuerdo... estaba ¿Dónde estaba esto? Eh, 
Estaba donde me costó tanto resolver. Ah, pero no me acuerdo qué habitación era. La habitación de la torre. A ver. Esta habitación era donde estaba lo de los peregrinos. Ah, Louis. Glad you're here. Blasted. He's gonna talk about my mother. Come and see what I found. There are pieces of paper in the ashes of the chimney. Someone's been burning something here. Incredible. He doesn't seem to want to speak to me about what happened between my mother and the Hillsborough sisters. Show me a little. Look, it's possible to distinguish two different writing styles. Hmm. The rest of the correspondence between my mother and Emma. Someone tried to burn an exchange of messages. I'm certain. There must be more. Shit. What on earth is he doing? Vale, manipular. ¿Por qué me cuesta más una por esto? Confuso. Vale, y si... Elixir dorado. Tengo cinco, puedo gastar uno ahora. Vale, y ahora solo gastaré un punto. If you want my opinion, a, a servant must have burnt some old papers. That's all. Why, of course. You very nearly made me think that you were trying to hide something, Louis. No, I'm sure there must be other hidden messages. He won't let go. Vale, no ha colado. Work his way back to the Bible if he continues. Uh, a ver. Eh. Era aquí, ¿no? Sí, 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 era aquí, a ver. A chest with the occult symbol representing air. Ah, tengo una llave. Una de ellas, nada más. Y la otra no puedo. No puedo hacer nada. La Biblia. No estaba aquí. Porque esto no es. O oh, sí, 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 es esta, claro. Listo, la Biblia. Me falta la esfera. La cruz está en... ¿Dónde está? ¿En dónde está la madre? Y la esfera. A ver... Esfera armilar. Tiene que ser una de las habitaciones que ya, he, que ya he visitado. A ver, cámara, escaleras, galería de retratos, galería de... Bueno, voy a ir a la parte de abajo. Vale, por aquí... No, nada. Por aquí nada. No, ¿Y este? No, no sé si se le podrá preguntar. ¿Qué puedo hacer por ti, señor? Estoy a tu servicio día y noche, señor. Me preguntaba si podría echar una mano, mano a ver si, si le dice algo. Me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Ah, no. Vale, esto solo le... Ahí los manuscritos. What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? The Sorrows of Young Werther by Goethe, sir. And I am not hiding it. Hand it to me, please. It is damaged, sir. I would never dare lend, sir, a book in such a pitiful state, sir. I took it to restore. Ah, sigo sin tener... Sin poder hacer esto. Venga. Nada, déjalo. Esto... No, no creo. Vale, esto no es... Nada, tampoco. El comedor.
Vale, no parece que haya nada por aquí. Tampoco. Nada. Aquí hay una caja. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Círculo triple. Ah, gastaría dos. Ah, no lo voy a gastar. Y aquí también gastaría dos puntos. Nada, tampoco. Atrus, the Miller Brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Uy, mira, es la esfera, la esfera gigante que decían. Hay que encontrar una más pequeña. Right. It's definitely an armillary sphere, but I have to find one that I can take with Una más pequeña tiene que haber. risk drawing too much attention to my comings and goings. Now, where can I find a smaller one? The Song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by... Either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Ready for aquí. No, por aquí no. Pues por aquí no veo ninguna. Estaré en otro cuarto diferente, supongo. Escalera... La cámara de, del gran conclave. ¿Puede estar ahí? There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. Y no tengo ninguna llave. Tenía que dar vueltas por todas partes hasta encontrar eso. Primero voy a, voy a ver esta, este piso y luego a lo mejor está arriba, no lo sé.
Vale, ya está, ya he dado toda la vuelta ya, creo. Vale, y la parte de abajo... Cámara, salita... Vamos a probar, es que creo que esa, esas de ahí no las he mirado. Uf, aquí tampoco. Venga, otra sala más. Y este, a ver qué le pasa. Not too shocked. I beg your pardon. About Peru this morning. I asked you if you want to shocked by it all. Si no le sorprende la situación. Pues sí, yes, claro. of course. I, I still can't believe it. And uh, neither can I. How could he do that to us? There are increasingly fewer and fewer of us on Mortimer's side. I don't see at all how we are going to win the conference. Tell me. I was wondering. Preguntar acerca de la esfera, sphere, would you? Do you really think this is the right time? Oh, ask Volner. I am sure he will know. What with him being passionate about astronomy, you ought to get on fine together. Leave me now. I need to think of a solution. I'm in search of a cross of Claymont the Third. You wouldn't have seen one, would you? I beg your pardon? What are you playing at now, de Richer? Oh, nothing. It doesn't matter. I'll figure it out. Vale, a ver, I won't keep you any longer. See you later, monsieur. Hmm. Venga. ¿Dónde está el Walner este? Estaré en su habitación, no sé. Ah, ¿es este que está aquí? No. No, este no es. Ah, Duriche. Congratulations for your efforts with Washington. I see that Sir Gregory did well to trust you. What can I do for you? I'm dreaming. My mother was right. He's not going to tell me one word about what happened to Emily. To tell you the truth, I'm in search of an armillary sphere. You wouldn't know where I can find it, would you? Well, well. So you do have a passion for astronomy. Von Volner has already bored me quite enough with all of his endless stories. You ought to concentrate, Louis. Politics is an art that requires all one's attention. Refrain from spreading yourself too thin and leave stargazing to the poets. <laughs> What can I say? I'm only... Ask Volner. I'm sure he must have it among his effects. Perfect. Thank you, my Lord Duke. Leave me now. See you later. Vale, está claro, aquí encontrará a Walder. Pero, ¿dónde está? Vale, ahora sí que he dado toda la vuelta. Estará en su cuarto. A ver, ¿cuál es la habitación de Wolmer? Aquí. Uf, 
A ver. Por aquí. No. La siguiente. A ver, dime que está aquí. No está ni él, ni veo ninguna esfera. ¡Ay! No, esa no es. ¡Ay, sí, sí! Es esto, 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 esto. Una armillary sphere. Perfecto. Eso me salvará un tiempo. I only hope that he isn't going to realize it right away. Vale, falta la cruz. Sí, por aquí. Vale, para salir era por saber. Era aquí. Así que se sale por aquí. Aquí esa es la jardín. Y ahora a ver por dónde era. que aquí está la cruz mira dónde está la llave con el símbolo de tierra bah, pues ya lo voy a volver al menos hoy no es que no sé si la cruz estará fuera aquí o dentro de la cripta vale voy a bajar a ver Vale, abrojos, nada más. Pues no sé dónde puede estar la... A ver... 
La cruz me dice que tiene que estar por aquí. O fuera, no sé. Bueno, voy a dar una vuelta por aquí, a ver. Ha usado Emma en la habitación de la torre, no esto no. Clavos, esfera. Nota de Sara encontrada, dice. Va, pero no te dice nada. No puede estar muy lejos. Famous cross of Ahí está. Perfect. In one key found. Vale. Están todas. So, good. You've managed to gather all the keys. Yes, that's right. I have everything. What should I start with? Place the Clement the Third cross on the console. Then you have to put the nails on the disc of the door. All right, my turn now. Go ahead, impress me. I'll shut up and let you concentrate. A ver, ahí va la cruz y los clavos aquí, ¿no? Introducir los clavos. Uf. Vale. Analizar el fresco. Clearly shows the birth of Christ. Louis, I can assure you that that is not the solution to this enigma. This fresco's only purpose is to mislead. I know that now. Please focus on another theme about Christ. We'll have to trust her. Vale, consultar las notas. En el reverso del mensaje hay escrito correspondencia de las fechas. Ah. Vale, esto no cuesta nada. Puedo ver que la dolor ha salido en partes. Es difícil ver lo que estaba ahí, pero puedo distinguir las letras N, R, I. Nothing more.
Ah, los dos me cuestan lo mismo. Why, of course. I N R I. Jesus Nazarenus Rex Yodorum. These initials stand for Jesus the Nazarene, King of the Jews. This is the inscription which appears on the cross at the crucifixion of Jesus. Vale, no puedo, no puedo hacer más. Analizar la puerta hmm. completa. It looks like there are three types of inscriptions. Averiguar cómo there, funciona. There are three styles of writing and I've got three nails. There must be a link. I must surely put in one nail per category. Ahí es donde la madre perdió la mano, aquí dentro. Un clavo en cada categoría. see that the pain has come off in parts. Difficult to see what was there, but I can distinguish the letters N, R, I. Nothing more. Uy, se ha quedado atascado aquí, eh. Ay, menos mal. Hmm. It looks like there are three types of inscriptions. There, there are three styles of writing, and I've got three nails. There must be a link. I must surely put in one nail per category. O sea, que poner uno aquí en una de estas, esta, esta o esta, otro en el en el año y otro en un número. Claro, pero... ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál y cómo se sabe? A ver, ah, los libros, a ver, a ver si en estos libros dice algo. This exegesis contains comments from Judas on the different Gospels. It only contains certain chapters and verses, and the chapters are indicated by Roman numerals. The lexicon refers to different chapters and verses from the exegesis of Judas. Vale. Estas son las ubicaciones que están en el... En la rueda. Y esto no está. En la rueda. Vale. ¿Y esto qué? The cycle of the moons has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. Vale, pues nada, esto no tiene nada que ver. The cross is stuck in the mechanism. I can't do anything. Chapter 2, verse 6. Jesus was born of Mary and Joseph on the 22nd of Tavith at midnight, 3762, in the village of Bethlehem. No. A ver, ubicaciones. Chapter 14, verse 22. On the seventh of Nisan, 3793, Jesus shared his last supper in the cynical in Jerusalem. Chapter 1, verse 9. 
Jesus was baptized by John in Jordan on the 9th of Hezvan, 3852. No, esto tampoco. Tiene que ser la ubicación de donde murió Jesús, porque pone Inri aquí. Pero ¿dónde fue? A ver. Chapter 2, verse 2. Publius Sulpicius Quirinius was born in Lanuvium. No, este no. En Belén nació. Aquí. Chapter 3, verse 18. Words truly pronounced in Abagash. Nada, tampoco. Chapter 7, verse 11. Jesus went to Nain. Pues nada. Chapter 5, verse 2. Jesus cures the sick and lame on the 8th of Adar, 3791, in Jerusalem, at the pool of Bethesda. All stand and fling away their canes. Chapter 2, verse 6. Jesus was born of Mary and Joseph on the 22nd of Tavith at midnight, 3762, in the village of Bethlehem. Chapter 1, verse 9. Jesus was baptized by John in Jordan on the 9th of Hezvan, 3852. No, ninguno de esos. Chapter 5, verse 2. Jesus cures the sick and lame on the 8th of Adar, 3791, in Jerusalem, at the Pool of Bethesda. All stand and fling away their canes. Chapter 14, verse 22. On the 7th of Nisan, 3793, Jesus shared his last supper in the cynical in Jerusalem. Chapter 2, verse 2. Publius Sulpicius Quirinius. Chapter 24, verse 3. Jesus rose from the dead on the 14th of Nisan, 3793, in Nazareth. He appeared with a halo above his head. Chapter 7, verse 11. Jesus went to Nain. Vale. Es... Es, Naz es Nazaret, me parece. A ver. Chapter 24, verse 3. Jesus rose from the dead on the 14th of Nisan, 3793, in Nazareth. He appeared with a halo above his head. A ver, 14... 14 de Nisan es el 1 de abril del año 33. Chapter 24, verse 3. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly, two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee. Vale, a ver. Creo que un clavo va en Nazaret. Catorce, a ver. 
1 de abril del 33. Temáticas. in parts difficult to see what was there but i can distinguish the letters n r i nothing more eh i n r i jesus nazarenus rex yadorum these initials stand for jesus the nazarene king of the jews this is the inscription which appears on the cross at the crucifixion vale, donde, of jesus donde fue crucificado Chapter 19, verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Vale, entonces Jerusalén. Yo puse una... a ver, a ver. Chapter 19, verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Vale, no creo que sea Nazaret. Entonces Jerusalén está aquí, sí. Casi no se ve. Chapter 19, verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Chapter 19, verse 17. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two others with him on either side, and Jesus in the midst. Pues no sé. Ah, no se me ocurre.
habíamos quedado en que no era el nacimiento de Cristo, sino su muerte, porque ponía aquí Inri. Vale, vamos a ver. Vamos a leer temáticas... Chapter 14, no, esa no, la verse cena no. 22. On the seventh of Nisan, 3793, Jesus shared his last supper in the cynical in Jerusalem. Chapter 14, verse 22. On the seventh of Nisan, 3793, Jesus shared his last supper in the cynical in Jerusalem. Sería, a ver. Claro, aquí no habla nada de la muerte en sí, habla de la crucifixión, cena, juicio, milagros, nacimiento, resurrección, puede ser. O crucifixión, hay que leerlo. Vale. Verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Y el equivalente 19, es... Verse 17. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two others with him on either side. And Jesus in the midst. Vale. Eh. Volver a leer. Capítulo 19, versículo 17. Bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two others with him. On either side, and Jesus in the midst. Vale, a ver. A ver, mira, aquí está el capítulo 19 y el versículo 17. Y este sería aquí. Ahí estamos, sí, sí, sí. Vale. It works. Well done, Louis. I hadn't seen those other wheels. Try connecting the theme to see if it goes all the way. Uh, analizar las puertas interiores. There are Rueda de iconos. icons on this wheel, but it looks like some of them can't be connected to the other wheels. Now, given the difference between the number of icons and the number of towns, I think that only one path connects all the wheels with one another. Let's try to connect the theme I've chosen with the rest. Vale. Conectar la temática. La temática es lo que hemos resuelto. Y hay, hay que conectarlo con lo nuevo, con la, la, a ver, la rueda de fechas. made up of one or two figures and one letter. The highest figure does not exceed 31, and each letter corresponds to a month of the year. A for April and M for March. I think these symbols must represent a specific date. Y las lunas, a ver. This wheel represents the different moons. In the occult sciences, we represent the full moon by an X. As for the dark moon, called the new moon, in cults, it's, well, it's often associated with something harmful. Vale, vamos. Uh. A ver. Vale, y esto lo manipulo con las palancas que había antes. A ver. Un 
Voy a mirar. A ver las palancas cómo funcionan. Girar la rueda de icono. La de fechas o la de luna. corresponds to the chosen theme. Bah, no puedo no puedo usar ningún tipo de, de lógica ni nada. Así que tendré que resolverlo yo. A ver, la de fechas fechas temáticas chapter 19 este, verse 17 vale este ya lo resolví Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan 3793 in a place near Jerusalem the Romans put a crown of thorns on his head y la chapter 19 la Biblia de Gutenberg que dice 17. and he bearing his cross went forth into a place called the place of a skull which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two others with him on either side and Jesus in the midst. Y esto que dice, a ver. 26 de marzo. A ver, existe un 26 de marzo. Let's see what combination corresponds to the chosen theme. Sí, existe un 26M. Eh, girar la rueda de fechas claro, pero ¿con qué lo tengo que alinear? y la rueda de iconos podría ser este que parece una corona de espinas See what combination corresponds to the chosen theme. Faltaría a ver la de las lunas. A ver, las lunas. Ubicaciones. Chapter 14, verse 22. On the 7th of Nisan, 3793, Jesus shared his last supper in the cynicle in Jerusalem. Ah, voy, a, voy a volver a mirar las ruedas. A ver. Hmm, it looks like there are three types of inscriptions. Aquí nada. Rueda de iconos que dice. No. Given the difference between the number of icons and the number of towns, I think that only one path connects all the wheels with one another. Let's try to connect the theme I've chosen with the rest. Hay que conectar todos los a ver a ver otra vez. Given the difference between the number of icons and the number of towns, 
I think that only one path connects all the wheels with one another. Let's try to connect the theme I've chosen with the rest. La temática que he elegido. A ver. A ver. Mm, analizar, a ver. De aquí. Claro, pero es que no sé si tiene que coincidir todos los iconos con algo de arriba o solo un icono con el que... Voy a pedirle consejo, a ver. As I told you, I didn't get that far. Nevertheless, these icons do represent moments in the life of Christ. Vale. Well, given the difference between the number of icons and the number of towns, I think that only one path connects all the wheels with one another. Let's try to connect the theme I've chosen with the rest. Dice, pero dice que solo conectar la temática que he elegido. Es que la temática que he elegido es... A ver, la muerte, a ver, la... La temática fue la crucifixión, ¿no? Chapter 19, sí. Verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3,793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Sí, crucifixión. Entonces debería ser... la corona de espino. Ahí. Pero claro, los demás iconos no coinciden todos. Algunos sí. Pero, por ejemplo, la paloma no coincide con nada, y esto tampoco coincide con nada. Aunque aquí hay un clavo, no sé si el clavo... A ver... Vale, voy a leer, por ejemplo, vamos a leer la cena. Chapter 14, verse 22. On the seventh of Nisan, 3793, Jesus shared his last supper in the cynical in Jerusalem. 14, 22. A ver... A ver. Chapter 14, verse 22. On the seventh of Nisan, 3793, Jesus shared his last supper in the cynical in Jerusalem. Vale, siete de Nisan. Eso no está aquí.
Vale, ¿qué más tenemos? El bautismo. Chapter 1, verse 9. Jesus was baptized by John and Jordan on the 9th of Hezvan, 3852. A ver. Tampoco está aquí. Chapter 1, verse 9. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John and Jordan. And coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opened and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. Vale, lo voy a dejar así. A ver si... Hay... A ver. Chapter 1, verse 9. Jesus was baptized by John and Jordan on the 9th of Hezvan, 3852. Chapter 1, verse 9. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John and Jordan. And coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opened and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. Ay, eso no es. Chapter 1, verse 9. No me acordaba de esto. Entonces, si dejamos la espina aquí y el 26M aquí, necesitamos saber qué fase de la luna había en esa fecha, supongo. A ver. Uh, fijarse en la luna, probar ciclos lunares. Es el 8 de Nissan. No está. Ah, mira, 7 de Saban. Este sí está aquí. Cuarto creciente. Cuarto creciente. Cuarto creciente, ¿cuál es? Let's see what combination corresponds to the chosen theme. Ah, ¿dónde? Manipular el mecanismo, no. ¿Cuál será el cuarto? A ver, a ver, aquí, aquí lo explicaba. Creo que solo me queda eso, nada más. Ruedas interiores. No, los iconos no. Símbolo de las lunas, a ver. We represent the full moon by an X. As for the dark moon, called the new moon, in cults, it's, well, it's often associated with something harmful. Vale. Debería ser entonces este. No sé si arriesgarme. Bueno, venga. A ver si se queda sin mano este también. I can feel the lever at the bottom. Good luck. Ay, sí, venga, venga. I never doubted you, my son. Pues sí. 
Sí, 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 esa era. Ya estábamos al final del episodio 3. A ver, todo superado. Creo que es el primer capítulo, el primer episodio. Vale. Vale, cuatro puntos. Política. Psicología. Es que son muy difíciles de, de terminar. Son muchos puntos los que hace falta. Quizás sería mejor... Vale, quizás sería mejor terminar con estos que uno esté terminado ¿qué más? ocultismo erudición y ciencia 